Have you heard? Disney World has temporarily canceled their crazy popular dining plan and there's no return date in sight. How should you plan your dining and save money on meals now that it's not around? We've got the tips coming right up. Howdy friends! Welcome to All Ears TV, your top source for all things Disney destinations. I'm Margo Jordan, and today we are here to help you decode a new way of dining on a dime since the Disney dining plan is paused. Time to dish the deets. Tip number one, split your meals. Disney dishes are big. You'll usually find generous portions no matter where you go. If you're not a big eater or you wanna save some room for a Mickey bar, you can split meals with your travel party. This won't be any trouble at most quick service and table service locations around Disney World. The only places you can't split meals are buffets or all you can eat situations. But if you're already planning to dine at a la carte restaurants that don't charge per person, go ahead and split that entree. Tip number two, order the kids meal. Another suggestion, if you're not a big eater or if you just love those Disney chicken nuggets, order off the kids menu. This tip is almost exclusively for quick service locations where you can order off the kids menu and get that exact plate at that cost. The table service locations may charge a little extra and give you a bigger portion of something off the kids menu. And it's basically at the discretion of your server and the restaurant policy. But if you see something you like more on the kids menu, just see if it's a possibility. No shame in asking. Tip number three, bring your own snacks. You can save big bucks and I cannot lie. This tip is super fly. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> but for real, Disney World is still allowing grocery delivery services. So even if you don't have a car to make a grocery run, you can still get snacks delivered right to your resort. They do charge a fee to deliver your groceries directly to your room. So plan to pick it up at Bell Services or meet your delivery driver to avoid that fee. Packing granola bars or a midday snack in your park bag can save you some serious money on your trip. And it's a tip we recommend, dining plan or not. <laughs> tip number four, budget dining ahead of your trip. Saving hacks aside, one of the biggest perks of the Disney dining plan is having all of the money for those meals prepaid and already set aside so you don't need to worry about pulling out your wallet to foot the dinner bill every night. You can easily set that money aside ahead of time and avoid the headache by loading up on some Disney gift cards with the amount you intend to spend on food. While you're planning out your dining reservations, take a look at some menus to get an idea of how much you'll spend each day. Each Disney gift card can hold up to $1,000 and you can combine gift cards through the Disney gift card website. If you're a Sam's Club or a Costco member, you can often find discounted Disney gift cards at those stores to get some added savings. Tip number five, use your discounts. If you're a DVC member or annual pass holder, you'll find you have access to some dining discounts just by being a member, typically 10% off food at many restaurants. If you're a member of those groups or you're a Florida resident, you're also eligible to purchase a Table in Wonderland card, which will get you 20% off both food and alcoholic beverages at table service restaurants and lounges all over Disney World. It's $175 for Florida residents and $150 for DVC members or annual pass holders. Tip number six, get deals in Disney Springs. Most of the restaurants in Disney Springs are operated by third parties, meaning not Disney, and they offer special discounts, happy hour promotions, and loyalty clubs. Check out individual restaurant websites ahead of your visit for any promos they may be running during your trip. Don't forget, you can always leave Disney World property for even more options for restaurants. There are tons of restaurants right outside of Disney World, and eating off-site will likely cost less than even dining in Disney Springs. Tip number seven, plan your sit down meal earlier in the day. On the dining plan, breakfast, lunch, and dinner may end up costing you the same number of dining credits depending on where you're eating. But if you're paying out of pocket, those earlier meals are going to be cheaper than dinner. 
breakfast is typically the least expensive meal at any restaurant. Those restaurants with a specific lunch menu rather than a combined lunch and dinner menu will still be a bit cheaper when you dine before 5 p.m. If you're not set on having a sit-down dinner each evening but still want to enjoy a relaxing meal each day, opt for breakfast to save some cash. So what do you think? Did we hit all the right tips? Do you have any other tips for our friends at home? Type them out in the comments below. I'm Margot Jordan, and it has been such a pleasure visiting with all you guys today. Thanks for tuning in to All Ears TV. See you soon.